Hi folks, Daryl Legacy here, Instructional Designer for Hack. Making your course materials and documents accessible isn't always easy. It's very important to do, but how do you know if you missed something? Fortunately, D2L, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other programs will help you check for accessibility. These accessibility checkers aren't a replacement for your own examination of the materials, but they can be an addition. They can provide some extra confirmation that your materials are working, and they may also help you find some inaccessible elements that you missed. To use the Accessibility Checker in D2L, choose the Create a File option in the content area of your course. Other options, such as Upload a File or Video or Audio, won't allow you to use it. After giving your element a name, Add text into the HTML window below. You can also insert photos, videos, links, and more by using the Insert Stuff button. Once you're finished adding material, scroll down and click the icon of an eye with a check mark in the lower right part of the window. This is the Accessibility Checker button. It will search your text and formatting for any of the more common accessibility errors. These include skipping a heading level, a lack of color contrast, or missing alt text, among others. Let's take a look at one that I already created in D2L. You'll see that I have some text, an image, and a table. When I click on the accessibility checker, it finds five potential problems. The first is about my headings. It points out that I'm not following sequential order for them, and you can click on the question mark icon for more information. If we click on the first line of text, you can see that it's created as a heading 1. Then there's some regular text below it. The next line is also a heading, but you can see that it says heading 3. That means we skipped heading 2, which is a problem for anyone using a screen reader. It's like going from a heading directly to a sub-subheading. I'm going to change that text to heading 2 instead of 3. Let's go back to the checker. The next issue is a lack of color contrast between my text and the background. You might have been able to notice on your own that yellow text on a white background is not a good choice, but this just confirms it. Let's make the text a bit darker and see if that fixes it. Great, the checker now says there's a problem with our alter alternative text for our image. There's some alt text, but it's the exact same as the file name, which isn't a good idea, especially since our file name is not descriptive at all and just has a bunch of numbers. Sometimes the repair issue button will help fix your error, but here it really just repeats the problem. Let's change the alt text to something descriptive or you can delete the image, re-upload, and choose this image is decorative. Remember that you should only choose that option when the image really is just there for decoration and doesn't convey any meaning or learning. In this case, that's true. Unfortunately, D2L won't let us change it to a decorative image once we've already added alt text, so let's delete the image. Then we can re-upload it and this time choose This Image is Decorative. The fourth warning is about our table at the bottom. It needs a caption. You often see these on websites or in books right after the number, such as Table 1, Population of Pennsylvania Counties. For this table, our caption needs to say something about the data here. Let's add number of athletes and fans of each sport at Midwestern University. We can add it right here from the accessibility checker if we want. Or we can click on the table, choose the leftmost icon, which is Table Properties, and then check the box that says Caption. After we click OK, this places us on a line right above the table where we can make our caption. The final problem the Accessibility Checker found is that our table has no header. It allows us to have either the first row or the first column be a header. In this case, we want header row. Now we can click Repair Issue 
and we're all set. Let's run the accessibility checker again. Great, it turns up no errors this time. In Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, it works similarly. After you're finished with your document, you'll need to select the accessibility checker. Depending on what version you have, it will be in one of two places. On newer versions, it should be in the Review tab toward the left on the ribbon. On older versions, you should click the File tab and then choose Check for Issues. Select Check Accessibility in the drop-down menu. In whichever place you find it for Word, it will be the same spot for your versions of PowerPoint and Excel. When you run the Accessibility Checker in Word, it breaks down issues into three different categories, starting with the most urgent, errors, warnings, and tips. On my document, you'll see it first points out that my image doesn't have the required alt text. If you click the down arrow, it will allow you to add a description or mark the image as decorative. It then notes that we missed the heading level. It's because I accidentally skipped from heading 2 to heading 4. Clicking the down arrow lets you verify the heading order and fix any mistakes. In our case, there is no heading 3, so moving it won't help. Instead, we need to change it to heading 3. The final issue here is that we don't have enough contrast with our orange text. Clicking the down arrow lets you go right to font color, where you can make it darker and more readable. That's how the accessibility checkers work in Office and D2L. Remember that this isn't a replacement for your own review, but this can really help you find accessibility issues that you might otherwise miss. If you can, run this after you finish every document, just to make sure your document is as accessible as it can be. If you have any questions about this or anything else, contact me or someone else in the CDI team.